part one is that we found 0, 0 is the minimum point and 2, 8 is the maximum point. And from part two, we found that 1, 4 is a point of inflection. Now for part three, we need to sketch this. Before we sketch, we also need to find the x-intercept. So now we should all know that the x-intercept occurs when y equal to 0, but in this case, f of, um, f of x equal to 0. So you set the equation equal to 0, 2x squared, 3 minus x equal to 0, hence x equal to 0 and 3 are the x-intercept. So therefore, 0, 0, and 3, 0. Are the x-intercept. So let's sketch this. Now keep in mind that when you do your sketch in exam, it must be three quarter of an A4 page. Um, and when you label your point, you must label the both the X and Y coordinates. So we have zero. We have three zero. And zero zero is a minimum point. And here, this should be 2, 8, which is the maximum point, and the point of inflection should be somewhere here, which is 1, 4. Now, finally, you should also write down the equation next to your diagram. And that's your complete sketch. All right, finally, the last part. The last part asks, what is the minimum value of f of x for x between minus 1 and 4? Now, you can use your diagram to find this out. So you can see that minus 1 is somewhere here. So between minus 1 and 4, which is somewhere here, the minimum value must occur when x equal to 4. is students get confused when they ask for the minimum value, whether it's the x value or the y value. Now, the minimum value means the y value of your curve. So, when x equal to 4, f of 4 equal to so that would give us 32 and that's minus 1, so minus 32. So therefore, the minimum value is minus 32.